To our other top story, cars going every which way on the biggest road project our valley has seen in years. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. It's the Tropicana Bridge up over I-15. It is now a diverging diamond. NDOT says that's supposed to improve efficiency, but our reporters on hand have found in some cases doing the complete opposite. Ryan Matthew joins us live from there now with the dilemma and what he's witnessed. Ryan. Yeah, Kirsten Bryan, for just a short 30 minutes this morning, we were posted right here. And in that time, we saw several cars driving on the wrong side of the road, several near crashes because of that. But according to ne uh, Nevada transportation officials, they say all of this, it's supposed to keep traffic moving in the midst of Dropicana construction. Once, twice, and so on. It's like driving in England. After closing the Tropicana Bridge over the weekend, this was put in its place, a diverging diamond which directs traffic to the opposite side of the road and closer to freeway on ramps before switching back, meant to increase efficiency as Tropicana construction limits capacity. You know, we were totally lost. <laughs> we, we were trying to find the hamburger place and we couldn't. Jeff and Debbie Cottrell are just driving through from California en route to Utah, but this was a sight they were not expecting. Anytime you're on, on, you know, doing something different, like you're on the wrong side of the road. I mean, that you start to think, OK, are the guys coming from the other direction going to, you know, be the same way and get on their side. Unfortunately, right when we reopened is when that storm moved in Monday morning and brought all that rain. NDOT reopening the bridge Monday morning only to close it again Monday night to repaint what was washed away and add features to prevent common driving mistakes. Reopened Tuesday with bigger signs, more reflective markers and repositioned dividers. Don't necessarily just follow the car in front of you because if the car in front of you makes the wrong movement, you don't want to just uh, follow them blindly really pay attention and, and understand where you're supposed to go. Daytime you can see, nighttime, nighttime that's going to be different. But this interchange, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And Dot says this will remain in effect through phase two and three of the I-15 Tropicana, Pro, Tropicana project. Rather, that's another year and a half of the diverging diamond. Reporting live over the I-15 at Tropicana, Ryan Matthew, A News Now.